Ah, uh, New Jersey. Easily the most densely populated state, and one with a rich history. With everything from the Jersey Shore to the Meadowlands and the Pine Barrens, there is a lot to admire. But growing up here, I always felt an attachment to the more or less misunderstood parts of the state, and quickly became aware of the strange goings-on within the state itself. One of the most fascinating factors of New Jersey is its urban legends. Stories which are passed down from generation to generation that are supposedly true, or at least leave a lasting impact on neighborhoods and communities alike. So, without further ado, here's the top 13 New Jersey urban legends and scary stories. Number 13, Crybaby Bridge. All across New Jersey, there are roads and bridges in which the faint sounds of a baby's cry can be heard very late at night by those who dare venture into such areas. As rumors and legends state, if you drive on certain roads after midnight, the sounds of a baby are crystal clear, and nobody is quite sure why. Some say the babies associated with these stories were murdered by a priest who sinfully fathered the children with nuns, whereas other origins state that the baby simply drowned under a bridge, as is the case for Cooper Road in Middletown, New Jersey. Aside from a baby's wailing, ghostly apparitions and even statues of the Virgin Mary tilting their heads as to follow you are associated with crybaby bridge stories. Number 12, The Dempsey House. Located in Monmouth County, the Dempsey House today stands as a relic of years gone by, yet it is home to a number of unsettling legends and rumors. According to one story, the Dempsey House belonged to an old couple composed of a bedridden and senile husband and his caregiving wife. Despite tirelessly caring for her husband, she disappeared one day, leading Mr. Dempsey to a path of starvation and dehydration. Once the police were somehow contacted and informed about the grim series of events, a patrolman inspected the house and apparently found something so unnerving, he ran out the door and hanged himself on the nearest tree. In a similar story, Mr. Dempsey was a family man who in a fit of madness, slaughtered his whole family and then hanged himself at the end of his property out of guilt. Naturally, since it was Halloween time, the local children thought it was nothing but a Halloween decoration. Number 11. Antoine LeBlanc Easily one of America's earliest mass murderers, Antoine LeBlanc was a French immigrant who emigrated to the United States in 1833 with big dreams and aspirations. Three days after he came to the U.S., LeBlanc found a job as a servant for the wealthy Sayre family in Morristown. After a few weeks of working the Sayre farm without receiving wages, he massacred Mr. and Mrs. Sayre, as well as Phoebe, their servant. After being apprehended and sentenced to death in a trial which only lasted 20 minutes, LeBlanc was hanged only for his body to be dissected by a local surgeon as a means to improve the surgeon's surgical skills and abilities. Ultimately, however, LeBlanc's head would serve as a catalyst for the creation of a plaster death mask with a rather peaceful expression. In addition, foldable wallets were made out of LeBlanc's skin. Both the wallet and LeBlanc's death mask are currently in the Morristown Museum. Number 10, The Blue Hole. Within the dark and cryptic vast woods of the Pine Barrens in southern New Jersey lies a seemingly bottomless body of water known as the Blue Hole. With a tranquil, clear, bluish tint and peaceful surroundings, the Blue Hole remains at a constant temperature of 58 degrees even on the hottest of days and spans about 130 feet across. For decades, the Blue Hole has been the source of numerous tragedies and legends. Many believe it is the home of the highly infamous Jersey Devil, and that the Jersey Devil will take you away into the depths of hell if you swim in it. And cases of people nearly drowning and even unfortunately dying in the Blue Hole and similar areas are only growing. Interestingly, in Henry Charlton Beck's celebrated book, Forgotten Towns in Southern New Jersey, Beck states that a scientific expedition to the Blue Hole resulted in the team lowering an anchor-type device in order to measure the exact depth of the Blue Hole. The investigation stopped when the device exceeded one mile without hitting any surface. In 2004, a short college film directed by James Rolfe titled The Legend of the Blue Hole featured the mysterious body of water. Number 9. The Watcher In the affluent community of Westfield in northern New Jersey in 2015, a family began to receive truly disturbing and mysterious letters right after they had moved into their $1.3 million home. Simply calling itself The Watcher, 
The cryptic letters range from threatening to just downright horrifying, saying things such as, My grandfather watched this home in the 1920s, my father watched it in the 1960s, and now it is my time to watch, as well as, Have they found what is in the walls yet? In time they will. I am pleased to know your names now and the names of the young blood you have brought to me. You certainly say their names often. 657 Boulevard is anxious for you to move in. It has been years and years since the young blood ruled the hallways of the house. Have you found all the secrets it holds yet? Will the young blood play in the basement, or are they too afraid to go down there alone? I would be very afraid if I were them. It is far away from the rest of the house. If you were upstairs, you would never hear them scream. Number 8. Annie's Road Like a huge number of urban legends, Annie's Road delves right into the paranormal. On Riverview Drive in Passaic County, New Jersey, the figure of a young woman in a white gown walking on the road has been sighted by motorists during the dark and eerie hours of the night. Creepily, a huge number of car accidents and fatalities have taken place on the road, making Annie's Road especially dangerous for those seeking to catch a glimpse of Annie herself. As per the origin of the story, it is commonly believed that Annie was a high school girl in the 1950s who, upon being rejected by her date at the high school prom, sadly met her end while walking home on the road, haunting the road for all eternity. Additionally, to this day, despite being paved over various times, a large and distinctive red stain remains on the road, leading many people to question how or why such a stain is present on the road in the first place with the consensus being such a red stain is actually Annie's bloodstain from the impact that had killed her. Number 7. The Gates of Hell Located in Clifton in Passaic County, the Gates of Hell is a graffiti-laced entrance to a vast tunnel and sewer system that, according to legend, is home to everything from doors with massive axes on them, satanic sacrifices, and even Satan himself waiting for any visitor to approach him. According to some, the Gates of Hell is also home to immense amounts of dead animals, and even screaming can be heard from deep within the Gates of Hell, and even a glowing skull is somehow within the tunnels. Have you ever run into anybody else down here that maybe uh, you didn't really want to get to know? <laughs> Fortunately, nobody ever face to face. But one time I can recall that we came down here and we were about to enter the tunnel and we heard screams from deep within the tunnel. And before I knew it, my friends were straight up the wall and already back up to the train tracks. Number 6. Big Red Eye With sightings dating back many decades and within the proximity of Sussex County, New Jersey, Big Red Eye is essentially New Jersey's version of Bigfoot. According to witnesses, the entity is a large bipedal creature with very long hair and piercingly red eyes, roaming around the northernmost forests of the state. In 1977, Locals reported hearing truly frightening moaning and screaming noises. The wailing noises lasted for hours on end, disturbing all those who had no other choice but to listen. Unlike bears and other wildlife, the strange source of the wailing sounds exerted a distinct wailing noise. Nineteen years later, in 1996, a number of witnesses claimed to have seen Big Red Eye on the side of a road, describing the red eyes and massive appearance. Number 5. Demon's Alley what was once a perfectly inhabitable and thriving neighborhood had become an abandoned neighborhood stuck within the realms of time and urban legend. Before being fully demolished in 2002, Demon's Alley, which stretched on the border between Morris and Passaic County, was home to many well-constructed houses blanketing an area of 10 acres. Within each house was an array of personal belongings, which seemingly seemed neglected as if those who previously owned the items were in a hurried rush to get out immediately. Items ranging from whole TV sets to clothes and even furniture were all left behind in relatively good condition. Legends say the abrupt nature of the abandonment of Demon's Alley was someone or something scaring the people away. With one story claiming a cult leader was responsible for murdering everyone in the town with the help of his disciples. Number 4. Midgetville For years, Tales of extremely small towns with minuscule residents driving around tiny cars and living in tiny houses have found their way within New Jersey folklore, spurring many people to take it upon themselves and find such towns. Usually, such stories circulate with supplemental tidbits such as the town inhabitants were retired sideshow performers and vaudeville acts, and they act especially feisty towards anyone who visits them from the outside world. 
While attempts at finding an actual Midgetville proved unsuccessful, a large grain of truth is that a man by the name of Alfred T. Ringling, a circus sideshow mogul, had purchased thousands of acres of land in northern New Jersey to make way for the construction of an estate and seasonal home for his performers. Once the traveling business moved away from New Jersey after Ringling's death, New Jersey's Midgetville became a legend, until concrete evidence of many houses were found rather close to Ringling's former estate venture by Weird New Jersey Magazine. Number 3. Clinton Road and Shades of Death Road Often called some of the most haunted roads in the United States, let alone the world, Clinton Road in Passaic County and Shades of Death Road in Warren County both possess a deeply haunting aura and variety of spooky factors. For the iconic Clinton Road beginning at Route 23 near Newfoundland, the road and its surrounding areas have been cited as a major paranormal hotspot. Clinton Road is home to a seemingly endless array of shocking tales, with sightings of ghosts and bizarre creatures being especially prevalent. According to one popular ghost story, the ghost of a young boy throws coins back at any person who dares throw a coin over a certain bridge, and ghostly trucks chase visitors away at night. Additionally, huge demonic dog-like creatures known as hellhounds are sighted from time to time according to eyewitness testimony. The hellhound stories correlate well with that of the extreme cases of satanic and ritualistic activity on the road, in which people regularly report coming across rituals, people with long cloaks, and even satanic scriptures seen on walls in inaccessible areas. Finally, Clinton Road was even a popular dumping ground for the Mafia, and especially for the Iceman Richard Kuklinski, a professional hitman who killed hundreds. For Shades of Death Road in Warren County, tales of tragedy and unexplained phenomenon gripped the road. Incredibly dark to drive on even during the day, prompting motorists to turn on their headlights, Shades of Death Road's name itself is a mystery. While some say a pack of murderous wildcats led to the road developing such a moniker, Others point to the notorious history of bandits and murderers which plague the nearby locals and areas with their nefarious ways, and prefer the road simply due to the fact that the darkness concealed them, or massive malaria outbreaks which crippled the nearby areas. Nonetheless, whatever the case, the name Shades of Death Road is a case of death regardless. Gruesome murders also plagued the road, where in one case, a woman murdered her husband and buried his head on one side of the road and his torso on the other side of the road. Of course, ghost stories overtake the road. The nearby Ghost Lake, which was said to be used as a dumping ground for bodies by a Native American tribe, emanates a mysterious white mist, and one person even spoke of getting punched by an unseen force. Years ago, massive piles of blurry Polaroid pictures were found along the lonely and quiet Shades of Death Road, which depicted a woman in distress. After a police investigation into the matter began, all the photographs mysteriously disappeared. Number 2. The Devil's Tree In Somerset County lies the most peculiar tree. Standing all alone in a field, the tree is scarred from axes and other tools which were used in an attempt to take the tree down. But some say the tree represents pure evil and has a history of terror. During the winter, even when snow is on the ground and the weather is especially freezing, the tree remains suspended in warmth and never ceases to be hot with absolutely no snow managing to surround it. The Devil's Tree has been speculated in being the area of numerous suicides and murders, with a common claim being that the KKK used the tree as a source for lynching African Americans and rebellious slaves during the colonial era. Furthermore, sounds of children screaming and playing are said to be heard around the tree. Legends say people occasionally come to the tree in order to end their own lives, which ultimately gives the tree a sinister charge. Number 1. The Jersey Devil According to one of the most prominent Jersey Devil legends, a resident of the Pine Barrens named Mother Leeds, a mother of 12 children, was about to give birth to her 13th child. After becoming aware of her 13th pregnancy, Mother Leeds proclaimed, Let this one be a devil. Months later, Mother Leeds went into labor and birthed what at first was a normal child, turned a demonic and monstrous entity which killed its own mother and escaped into the Pine Barrens. With the wings of a bat, a head and body of a horse, devilish tail and freakish horns, the Jersey Devil has been sighted thousands of times across southern New Jersey throughout the last 300 or so years, with the highly celebrated case from 1909, in which the Jersey Devil was sighted all over from the Delaware Valley to Philadelphia in the span of one week, which led to the closing of schools, 
and hysteria. Jersey Devil sightings have continued to this day. New Jersey is a state with a rich history and dynamics, but it's also a state filled with mystery and horrifying elements, reflected by its many urban legends and chilling tales and stories. Wherever you look, it seems as if every town and area has a story that has either been told or has yet to be told. A quality to be proud of in a state.